Hey, today we're installing the carpet in the 1971 Dodge Demon. And whenever I install carpet, I think one of the biggest challenges it has always been, how do you cut the holes in the right spots for like the seat belts and, and uh, the seats so the brackets all line up well? And how do you get it so it matches up perfectly like this? So what I'm going to show you is a trick that I learned from my friend Pete, um, and it seems to work really well. Uh, as long as you take your time and be careful, you can kind of nail it every single time. So when you do this, <clears throat> what you really need is a long extension that's kind of disposable. Um, that way, when you hold on to it, it's good. A uh, propane bottle, <laughs> an old metric socket. I happen to use a 14 millimeter, and that's what I use for virtually everything. And it seems to be kind of the one size fits all. It's worked for multiple vehicles now, so I just keep this thing together. Uh, a large nail and a pair of needle nose pliers. So first things first, um, what we'll do is um, you need to find the, the hole that you want to uh, line up and, and burn through. So whenever you're laying a carpet, you always start from the center of the vehicle and you work your way out to the side. Uh, in this particular case, we've kind of taken up all the slack. We've pushed it up as high as it needs to be. We bring this thing forward. And I know that under here is the hole for the seat bracket. So I want to be able to put a hole exactly there. So what I do is take my gloves off here, make sure everything is nice and flat. Then I put my one finger on top of the hole and the other finger on top of that finger. And that helps me figure out about where the hole is. Then I jab the nail all the way through and I push it down so it's flat. So. Last check to make sure you're happy with how everything is cinched up here and that it's going to look okay. I think it is, and this will all be trimmed off later. So with the nail in place, this nail is now going through the hole that we want to make. So next step is put on your gloves. Grab your fancy tool. Turn on your propane, and I'm going to do this out here, not inside the car. I'm going to heat this socket up until it's practically glowing red. When it's glowing red, it's actually the best. Um, but this will take a second for it to get super hot. Take your super hot socket and you go right over top of that nail. And what you do is you just press all the way down and I like to spin it a little bit. It'll go through the jute and everything. And then oftentimes it'll come out just like that where you get the whole nail and everything. So we'll kick that off to the side. And if you look down at where we just did the uh, hole, it's a perfect hole that's already um, fused together on the edges and if you look right down in it you can see the actual hole is right on top of where it needs to be. Can you get a little bit closer there Cooper? Cool. So there you go. You got a perfect hole there and I'll run a bolt down into it and tighten that down and then I'll be able to trim the ends of the uh, carpet and it'll be just perfect.